Yes then guys, how are we all doing? My name is Morsi and welcome back to another player view for the La Liga team of the season. Now I have got a lone Jules Koundé here and looking at the face stats, I couldn't not review him. I couldn't do it. It's insane. 95 defending, 90 physical, 91 pace on a centre back. Now this man has been cracked out for the past couple of years. I feel like he's super meta and his body type in game is just such a pain to play against. He's always making interceptions, just so quick to jockey with. So this guy looking at the stats looks like he's going to be phenomenal. Now the price we'll check in a minute. This is actually from uh, the brand new weekly bronze objective. I think if you play a couple of games you can get a choice out of one of the La Liga's slash Saudi team of the seasons on a seven game loan. That's how I've got this man essentially. But I don't think he's even that expensive on the market which is crazy. Looking at the stats, defending stats pretty much maxed out across the board, minus the heading, letting it down a little bit. Dribbling wise, 99 reactions, 99 composure, great agility, balance, ball control, and dribbling for a centre back. The pace, 91, 91, happy days all round. If you're giving him a chem style, I probably would say an anchor, lads. Pace, defending, and physical boost is what I would say. Just a really nice card, lads. And you just know he's going to be a beast. You know he's going to be a demon. He gets a strong link into team this season, Akuna. I'm using a placeholder here. This man will be subbed out in my gameplay. Uh, but there's so many cracked out centre-backs this year. What I love so much about EA at the moment is they're giving us cracked centre-backs in every single league. So you could, if you're you know, a fan of the Bundesliga, you've got so many options. La Liga, so many options. You get the idea. Uh, every single league is pretty much kitted out. But this is how we're rocking up in game. Basically, my main team. I can't drop this man because he's lethal. Hopefully, he bags goals in this little review here. But we're going to have some fun with it today, guys. Drop me a like if you're excited. Subscribe if you're new. And lead divisions where we're going. Wish me luck. And again, what are we up against? I mean, to be fair, like, every single team you play in the elite division is filled with team of seasons, red player picks. It's crazy. But in all fairness, that is maybe one of the weaker teams I've seen. Famous last words. Jesus. Where's my where's my defence, lads? Oh, Koundé. Koundé with a double block. This free at the back tactic I'm playing is a little bit questionable today, boys. I feel like a little bit vulnerable at the back, but it doesn't matter. Koundé started off the game with three ridiculous blocks. Things you love to see. It's just the passing. Not bad, that. Not bad. So, guys, do let me know what you think of La Liga team of the season. Is it potentially the best team of the season we've seen so far? I mean, there's some mad players. Benzema, Vinny Jr., Pedri, Modric, Areja, Koundé, Fakir. It's crazy. It is stacked. I feel like maybe on paper, it's probably the best one we've seen as we take the lead by Deli Alli. Beautiful scenes. Koundé in a foot race against Son. Son's done right there, to be fair. Koundé though, pushed him out wide. He looks quick off the block, which is nice. You need that in a centre-back these days. Oh, boys, that position in there was a little bit questionable. I don't know if it was Schuler. It was so deep for some reason. Koundé is a big gap and son. Out of all people, you don't want that man just lurking in empty space in your box. Hey... I love the way he runs, man. He runs like this a little bit. I don't know why. If he doesn't do it in the real world, then if he does, that's awesome. It's similar like a, to Sterling's unique little run. But it feels like he's just kind of uh, giving him a little elbow every time he's shoulder-to-shoulder, uh, shoulder, which I like. Come on now, Bernardo. That is class. Just can't find Tommy. Well done, Deli. The presser pie is big. Thomas now. Touch. Driving it. Little ball roll. Second man press is ruining me with this guy. Fair play to him. He's a really good defender. Like, as soon as I'm on the ball, I'm getting swarmed by one or two players. Oh, boys. That would have been a beautifully worked goal. Koundé on the cleanup, though. Can we sneak a cheeky uh, lead before the half, lads? Not looking likely. Hold up, hold the phone, boys. Don't, don't look away yet. Still, oh, no, no, okay, you can look away now. So one or at half time, this is a sweaty, fast-paced game. My man is pressing me, I'm pressing him. It's literally end-to-end. -end. But Koundé started off strong with three ridiculously nice blocks. Really good card. I'm enjoying him. He looks quick defensively. Positioning is a little bit questionable for that goal. I don't know if that's Shula's issue being uh, too deep. And Koundé stepped up potentially. Uh, but so far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Thomas, Thomas, there we go, boys. 
Big Thomas Muller never disappoints. I hype him up every single time and he is still bagging goals for me. Oh, the boys, it is 3-1. Wow, work goal. Saka, Muller into big game, Bernardo. No messing about, lads. We're getting Ws tonight. Hopefully, I'm not going to regret saying that. Yes. I thought he kept it in for a second there. In that situation, just the pace that he's able to jockey at helps so much. Even against cracked out cards like Diaby. Uh, as long as you're not letting him cut in on that strong foot there, you're doing a good job. Watch Kunde's positioning now, because Zaha's bombing forward in the middle. Uh, he takes up the space where Shula's kind of left quite nicely, and we defend well. We defend. Okay, it's about to see Cross the keeper, Phil. It's a mad save. Mad save from David De Gea. Uh, this game is open, by the way, lads. It is open. Let's see, is Koundé up here, by the way? He's not, of course he isn't. I would love to have got him on the score sheet. Oh, hello, mate. What is that? Sweeping out of nowhere and come away with that. Thank you. Yes, boys, cat attack is on. My man has sent the kitchen sink. We have bodies over. Phil, into Delhi. Great challenge, to be fair. Even that would be kind of pacing, boys. He's basically max pace at this rate, boys. Don't even need a chem style on him. He feels so quick. Another block. We're stacking numbers. We are stacking numbers today. Almost double digits, I'm sure. Maybe not quite, but it's a little, uh, little run forward. You can even beat a man with a dribbling, boys. Come on. Boys, I don't know what I've done there. I don't know what that pass is, but Koundé had the chance. There was a little glimpse for an assist or a goal at the end there. We do get one. It's Thomas Muller, but unfortunately, no goal, uh, goal contribution for the big man. So Jules Koundé team of the season card is basically a glitch. So quick, so agile, so easy to defend with, lads. He makes blocks like his no man's business. He's always in the right place. The last minute interceptions. Um, did I have any issues with the card? Not necessarily. Like he feels strong. He feels good defensively. Uh, just the AI defending alone should be really, really solid for the card. The pace. I love even his little, little uh, I don't know, arm up run here. Uh, kind of like shoulder bars and everybody uh, when he's shoulder to shoulder. It's the dribbling stats. A super meta, uh, ridiculously good card. And for the price, boys, I didn't realise he's this cheap. 250k roughly on Xbox right now. It may be even cheaper. If he goes below 200k, that's a bargain. Honestly, it's a bargain. I don't know how much an Edin Militao is or David Alaba, if they're in a similar price bracket. But we are spoiled for choice when it comes to La Liga centre-backs. If you think I'm picking up this man for this weekend, you have my uh, my big thumbs up on that one, boys. Get him in, because he's class. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, do drop me a like, subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the rest of your night, okay? I'll catch you later.